I'm Dr. Romano, Professor of Organic Chemistry here in Romano Scientific in New York, and I am here with Professor Louis Bloys. He is a mathematician, and he's going to go over some really solid problems today to help you on the DAT and the ODE exam. All right, Professor, show us what you got. Okay, today's problems deal with circles and circumferences, and here's a little preamble to these three problems. The following problems are based on the fact that the circumference of a circle is 2 pi r, and that the value of pi is approximately 3.14. Let's look at the first problem. A circle of radius 1 over pi sits on the number line with point P on the circle touching the line at point 0, as shown in the diagram. If the circle rolls to the right three complete times without slipping, where on the number line will point P be touching? Well, what we're looking for is a point on the circle that's three circumferences to the right. So let's figure out, let's calculate what one circumference is. One circumference is 2 pi r. We know that the radius given is 1 over pi, so it's 2 times pi times 1 over pi. That cancels, and one circumference is therefore 2 units. Well, how many units is 3 circumferences? Well, that would be 3 times 2, which is 6. And therefore, I know that if the circle rolls to the right three times, point P is going to coincide with 6 on the number line. All right, good. Go to the second one. The radius of a wagon wheel is 3 quarters of a foot. If the wagon wheel continuously rolls 300 feet in one direction, approximately how many revolutions does the wheel make? Well, what we want to do is calculate the distance, or take the distance that the wagon wheel rolls, divided by the circumference, how many circumferences in that distance will give us the number of times the wheel has turned. Okay, so it's going to be total distance over the circumference. So the total distance is going to be 300 feet, and what's the circumference? It's going to be 2 pi times three quarters. So there's our answer. All we have to do is simplify this complex fraction. So let's see, what do we have in the denominator? I can cancel the two with the four and get three halves pi. And I can bring the two up two times 300 divided by three times pi. Well, the three divides into 300, 100 times. And I'm going to get uh, 2 times 100 is 300. Uh, 2 times 100 is 200 divided by pi. Now, pi is equal to 3.14. That's going to be a very difficult uh, division to make. So let's approximate this to 200 divided by 3. Because the, the problem says approximately. That gives you a, 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 the freedom to approximate. Okay, so 3 goes into 200 how many times? This is going to be approximately equal to 3 goes into 26 times with 2 left over with another 6. It's approximately 66 times, okay? And because the denominator is slightly larger, I know the actual answer is going to be slightly less than 66. So if I look at my choice of answers here, choice C comes closest to the number range that I'm looking for, just less than 66, and that's the choice that we make. All right, final problem. The diameter of a truck wheel is six feet. Approximately how many revolutions will each of the wheels make if the truck travels 31 miles without slipping? Hint or reminder, one mile is 5,280 feet. This is very similar to the previous problem. What makes this interesting is the art of approximation that we will be using in the course of the solution. Okay, so once again, we look at, we're looking at the distance that the truck travels divided by the circumference of one of its wheels. All right, so the distance that the truck travels is 31 miles times each mile is 5,280 feet, and the circumference is going to be 2 pi r. Well, now, this is a little trick. Instead of giving us the radius of the wheel, we are told that it's the diameter of the wheel. So if the, if the diameter is 6, then the radius is 3. So I have 2 pi times 3, okay? So let's figure this out. This is 31 times 5280 divided by 2 times 3 is 6, 6 times pi. 
Now, the choice of 31 miles may seem unusual, but the value of pi is what? Approximately 3.14. So therefore, 31 is approximately 10 times 3.14. We're dealing with approximation here, right? Look for that key word, approximation. It allows you the flexibility to do things on an approximate basis. I can cancel these two out and make this approximately 10. Okay. Now, what do I have here? Let's uh, divide six into 5280. Six goes into 52 eight times, six eighths of 48, with, with, with uh, two uh, basically with four left over, six eighths of 48, this becomes 880. So six goes into 5,280, 880 times, 10 times 880 is 8800. Zero, zero. And that's how many times that truck wheel turns, and we can see the correct choice is choice D. And there we are. Okay, I hope everybody enjoyed another Professor Bloy's video. We'll see you in study group. Um, I would also have a look at the Man Destroyer. Professor Bloy's contributed many of those questions, and it'll really help you out for the dot exam, as well as the O exam. All right, good luck to you. Bye-bye.